it was a big one for the political arena. It was the year some political uh, figureheads in the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress lost party elections and threw up interesting matchups. But how would these newly elected executives impact the NPP and the NDC in their aspirations going into the 2024 presidential elections? Kamala Adum looks back at how it all played out in the year under review. Now, on the political front, the two leading political parties did not drop the ball in their rivalry, for want of a better word, in the year 2022. We will not partake in the destruction of the Ghanaian economy, which this government appears so bent on doing. Irrespective of the challenges that we are having in this country, people know and have faith that it is the MPP that can take Ghana through such difficulties. Within the party itself, there was a pushback. Members of the MPP were fighting against some of the policies by government and even in parliament, they took a historic decision to kick against the finance minister's continuous stay in office. Until uh, such persons are made to resign or removed from office, we, members of the majority caucus here in parliament, will not participate in any business of government. The NDC, on the other hand, which has been on a war path with government and the party in government, the NPP, has also maintained that a raft of policies and interventions implemented by government have not been in favour of the ordinary Ghanaian. This government has been very, very reckless in its borrowings, and that is what has plunged the country into the economic mess we have on our hands. Some will say the opposition from the NDC may have yielded some results because we know that the controversial e-levy which was pegged at some 1.5% when it was introduced has now been reduced or reviewed to 1%. That may find favor with vulnerable or ordinary people, but our position on e-levy has not changed. They simply didn't understand the concept of it. There's also the huge debate about whether or not state funds should be committed to the building of a national cathedral. The NDC has fiercely resisted this. The Bible New Ghana will have a president called Akufuadu. This is what he says. If you only get the foundation laid and then run out of money, you are going to look pretty foolish. This is the word of the Lord. <laughs> For us as a party, we look at the, the religious importance of having the Katuja and also the potential um, the funds that it can generate for us as a country. The two parties faced some heavyweight electoral defeats during their respective conference and congresses this year. We remember vividly how the MPP delegates voted out popular General Secretary John Boydou during their conference in July. It's better to happen that way than to be selfish and come out to say the kind of things I could have said. Now, he was toppled by private legal practitioner Justin Kudja, who is now the General Secretary of the NPP. At the end of the day, it is the new patriotic party which has won, not any single individual. Our African proverb says, a snake that you can see does not bite. I guess what the proverb forgot to add is that a mosquito that you can see can also not bite. In the NDC also, some heavyweights suffered defeats during the Congress. We know General Secretary Johnson, a Sidun Ketia of 17 years, decided to take a higher office and was voted as chairman of a party. The 2024 elections is not only an election for the sake of the National Democratic Congress, but it is an election to regain the independence of this country. And we are prepared to sacrifice everything. So now, General Mosquito, now Chairman General Mosquito or General Mosquito Chairman, whichever way, he is the chairman of the NDC. The NPP, however, led by Stephen in team, chairman of the party, also, Secretary Justin Kundria and the rest of them will also be looking to break the aid. The new national executive will work assiduously for the party to win election 2024. 
It was your election command center here at TV3. We brought you unrivaled coverage of both the NPP conference and the NDC Congress, both coincidentally happening at the Accra Sports Stadium on TV, radio, of course, online. The next phase, however, is the flag bearer contest for both parties, the NPP and the NDC. We know already some individuals have put themselves up as potentials to lead their parties to the 2024 elections. What is of utmost importance to Ghanaians is their living conditions and electing somebody to a position in a political party does not necessarily improve the living conditions of the good people of Ghana. In the NPP, for example, Asin Central MP Kennedy Japon has strongly indicated his desire to lead this country as president. I have at least 7,158 permanent workers. And my dream is to become president by 2024, I should have 12,000 permanent workers. My salary as president, I will set a presidential scholarship and give it to the needy students. So Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is also thought to be one of the candidates who is looking to take a step further to lead the country as president. There is also Kwabena A.J. A.J. Pon, the former general secretary of the MPP. There won't be any coronation in MPP. If you want to lead, you hit the debt, mm. go around the country, go to Amenfi West, mm. go to Cape Coast, mm. go to <laughs> Heman, Lower Detra, mm. move around the country to Diaso. You must earn it. You have to earn it. There is also the former railways minister, Joe Gatti, and then there is also the trade minister, Alan Kojo Tremanting. All of these at some point have indicated their interest in leading the NPP to the elections. In the NDC, however, it appears it's only former finance minister Kwabna Dufour who has strongly indicated his desire to lead the NDC into the elections. Today, I want to announce to you my intention to contest for the flag bearership of the National Democratic Congress NDC any time any time the party opens nominations. But he may have to face John Dramani Mahama, former president, also 2020 flag bearer, in the elections. That is, if he decides to take another chance to lead the party in 2024. We've done our postmortems. We realize that we have to go into the ring with our own referee. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, it means we must do, take advantage of you know, the, uh, the systems that are given for political parties to police the poll. And so it means that we must be extra vigilant at the polling station level, at the collation level, and the uh, final tally level. And so we're going to be much more vigilant than we were in the past. We will be ready as your election command center when the parties are to elect their flag bearers. And we will also be looking ahead to the highly anticipated election 2024. But between now and then, so many things can happen.